Hey guys, Desolator Magic here. Unfortunately, extremely sick today, but uh, luckily this is a pretty short video. So since it is the holiday season, and despite basically everyone at Wizards being an atheist, angry, holiday-hating, war-on-Christmas shitlord, they're still coming out with a holiday promo card in 2019. Fantastic. Now, if you're not familiar with the holiday promo, it goes back uh, quite a ways. There's a history of them. I'll probably put a little... Uh, slideshow of them up on screen right about now uh, from the past and uh, they've been pretty good you know funny parody cards interesting jokes kind of humor laughing at the game laughing at themselves or just taking a, a joke and making it outrageous or taking a joke putting it straight on a card comedy wise pretty good stuff some of these are comedy gold and some of the mechanics are just like whoa that'll never be on a real card and uh, a lot of funny like un kind of stuff which I mean it's a silver boarded card that makes sense so the article simply says, don't just settle for decking the halls this season, deck out your draws with cards from outside the game. Which is kind of ironic because that was not one of the better received mechanics that they printed lately. That's right, you don't need boughs of holly when you have the comforts of Decorated Night at your disposal, and that is correct. This is Decorated Night, the 2019 holiday promo card. The holiday promo card is something we've done for years around this time to celebrate the holidays and provide our partners, contractors, and employees with a fun treat to say thank you for being great. Chances are if you receive one of these, we think you're pretty awesome. If you already suspect that that's a really, really polite understatement for who they're really sending this to, you are correct. And I'm not getting one, because I'm on the naughty list. You know what? Send me some coal, Mark. Heating a house is expensive, and I will burn that shit. So this year, the more damage you give, the more value you get. Aren't the holidays great? Ah, oh, that does sound like any holiday with my family. So, Decorated Knight is a four-cost uh, human knight creature, and he has uh, Adventure Present Arms, which is a sorcery speed, and exchange your library with another deck you own from outside the game, shuffle your library. That is hilarious. But the only card I can really compare this to is Splendid Genesis, one of the most expensive cards in the history of Magic. So besides that, he's a 3-3, and whenever Decorated Knight attacks, draw a card from your original deck if it's outside the game. So that is kind of fun and interesting. I mean, the artwork's nothing special. There's no real jokes there. It's not like some tongue-in-cheek reference to something unless I'm really missing it. But uh, no, the Boondocks version of Snoop Dogg here riding Unicorn uh, just looks like some dude. Doesn't really look like there's a joke here. Well, I mean, decorated as in military honors, then decorated as in Christmas. Wow. Other than that, pretty weak compared to the ones I just showed from past years. Like, all the past ones, if, if that was the baseline, the average, like, humor and fun level and all that and silliness, maybe a 3 out of 10. But I also don't care because I'm not getting one, so let's, uh, let's focus on that for a second. Who do they send these to? Well, employees, yes, from what I've heard. Uh, and honestly, the ones these days... Maybe you could sell for like 20, 30, 40 bucks. Like not even really worth selling. Uh, some of the earlier ones break a hundred though from what I've seen. Because, you know, they're announcing this to the allegedly 10 million active uh, users of Magic the Gathering and then following it up with, oh yeah, hype, hype. Ooh, look at this. It's so cool. Holidays, yay. Oh, but you're not getting one and you can't get one. So it's like, yeah, some people are going to take the opportunity to try to sell it. And, you know, there are multiple holiday ones on multiple websites that are known for selling singles. So these aren't like impossible to find. It's not like they pop up, you know, once in a blue moon for sale. In fact, a lot of people will buy these out of season and then sell them specifically when a new one is announced all the way up through Christmas. But the more recent ones, I don't know if just more were printed, more were sent out or what's going on, but you can get like the 2016 holiday promo Thopter Pie Network, which I mean, come on, that's like an eight out of 10. You can get that right now for just over 15 bucks on eBay. So a lot of times this isn't like some judge compensation, here have $500, but if the IRS asks, we're not giving you $500. So like your volunteers, and then they hand them something worth provable amounts of money. And then if they're rich enough, they keep it. Otherwise they sell it because that's their compensation for travel and being a judge. No, this is more like you'd have to be crazy to sell it. You're only going to get 15 bucks. So they are being 100% upfront and honest when they say that this is just simply 
a thing that they send out to appreciate their partners, contractors, and employees. So employees, duh, contractors, just employees that they don't want to pay health care for. Okay, that's probably a small percentage of them. A lot of them are probably just, you know, the international web teams and stuff. Who knows? It's not like they issue a list. Um, but then uh, partners. Okay, what does that mean? Basically, from what I understand, because there have been some leaks and some rumors and some statements made by ex-employees, it's anybody who completely kissed their ass in the last year. If you do something in the community and you don't say or do anything too bad about Wizards of the Coast then you might get on the list to get one of these. Or if you ask real nicely and then kind of wink, wink, nod, nod, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, you know, you give me information and feature me on your website, I'll not cover some of the more negative stuff about you, you know, that kind of stuff. That kind of behavior will get you on the list to get one of these. That's the rumor, at least. And, I mean, people have come out on Twitter and said, oh, look what Wizards sent me, and you can make a real quick list of what type of people they send them to. So, um, yeah, I won't be getting one. Most of the YouTubers that you uh, subscribe to, follow, admire, they probably aren't getting one. But whatever, I consider it basically the exact same thing as uh, the, the card spoiler list. Where like, oh, here's my one single spoiler that's, you know, just for me, the wizard sent to me. Yay. And you know what? It's pretty much the same list of people from what I heard. So I'm used to it. I'm used to getting snubbed by wizards. And uh, if that's the price I pay, I don't get a holiday card or... I don't know, special invites to their events. And the trade-off is I get this many subs, this many viewers, this many likes on my videos. I make this much money. I'm this big in the community. I'm respected by this many people because I tell the truth and I spread the word when something bad is happening so that people can put pressure on wizards to do the right thing and fix the game, fix their product and stop treating people like crap. Stop printing on garbage paper. Stop printing products that flop that nobody wants. Stop lying to people. Stop causing class action lawsuits. Stop getting hacked so that you get massive fines potentially in Europe, losing everybody's personal data because you're careless. If I could accomplish things that important, I think I can do without a decorated knight. If I didn't think I could do without a decorated knight, I'd just hop on eBay and buy one for probably about a tenner in a week. Especially since I made a really good business deal today and have $1,500 cash in my pocket. And a real business deal. I didn't rob a drug dealer or something. There's nobody that rich in my area. Oh, if there was, I mean, no, all I'm saying is, uh, you know, what are they going to do? Call the cops? <laughs> anyway, this happy holiday cheery video that's definitely not for children. Let me just uh, point that one out there. It went to a bit of a dark place, but I'm still sick and feel like crap. So um, don't get too close to the video or you might catch this from me. And leave a like on the video if your family does Festivus instead. I'm going to go dig the Festivus pole out of the closet and start writing down some of my grievances. I'll see you guys next video.